so have you ever have a memory lost or just have it making a bad judgment at the age of 65 or more well you well this is all the common phenomena in old age but have you ever think that you are getting a disease day in day without knowing good afternoon ladies and gentlemen my name is emma and today i will be presenting about alzheimer's disease yes you may have heard it right you may have are struggling um through alzheimer's disease so this is my table of content first up is the definition and the percentage then the brain structure following up by the symptoms next up is the cause and effect and last but not least is the solution so what is alzheimer's disease alzheimer's disease is actually a brain disorder in which you slowly lost your memory until a point where you can't even remember anything. While there's no cure for it, we're using methods and solutions to keep tracks on it. So this is the percentage and the ratio. Uh, women and men have been decided by the scientists that they have a different number of showing how, 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 how high the possibility they might get Alzheimer's disease. So women have 2.07% and men have 2.22%. So how this works is that the lower it is, the higher the possibility you might get an Alzheimer's disease. Scientists have shown that women have a higher percentage than men by 10% of getting Alzheimer's disease. So the ratio can be one knife, a third at the age of 85 will somehow get this disease. So what is the brain structure? It will be smaller than usual with dying brain cell and plaques will be inside the neurons. You will have a smaller hippocampus with dying neurons, um, with dying neurons and tangles in it. So there's no disease without any symptoms, right? So. In Alzheimer's disease, there's a lot of symptoms, for example, memory loss and poor judgment. So where does all of this come from? They come from a two thing called beta amyloid and neurofibrillary tangles, but let's focus on the beta amyloid first. So Sanford have shown that a protein fragments has been break down, which is called beta amyloid. It's actually been break out from APP also known as the amyloid protein precursor. So, okay. so beta amyloid have always been seen as a hallmark in Alzheimer's disease. It actually disrupts the cell function, accumulates outside of nerve brain cells, plagues in the brain, disrupting com combination, communication between brain cells and dis distributing or contributing to the death. So you might have some question wondering where does the beta amyloid come from? How does it work or how did it form? Or maybe actually does it actually play an important role in AD? Well, this is a picture showing that a normal neuron, a neuron with neurofibrillary tangles and amyloid plaques. plaques. So I will explain about the B picture. So Amyloid plaques actually stick into the neurons, which destroy the function of the sodium ion to pass through the neurons, sending signals. Also, it stops a thing called neurotransmitter to go through the receptor to go through the receptor to to sending signals. Also, the neurofibrillary tangles, they actually stop the neurons from getting the nutrients and they stop, stop it from sending the signals. So a T picture, one side is a healthy brain and the other side is an unhealthy brain being affected by the Alzheimer's disease. So the brain is actually smaller because since there's many dying neurons in it, which make it shrink, shrink down. So what's the cause of this? The causes probably include a combination of age-related changes in the brain along with genetic, environmental, and lifestyle factors 
Do you want to live as an old grumpy grandma or grandpa? So this is my solution. Uh, this is the potential solution. First up is the village. The village actually cost in total of $28 million, but it didn't actually, it don't actually solve the core issues, which is to make everyone freedom from the Alzheimer's disease. So um, Elon Musk have created a thing called Neuralink. Neuralink is actually a technology in which they actually implant a chips inside your brain. By using that technology, by using that technology, it actually help people to move and restore memories. So it actually implants the chips in inside the brain. There's a man called Norlin Arbo. He was being he was he bumped into an object or someone in the lake at 2016. And now the doctor said that he was paralyzed forever, except for the head. So he was a lucky impatient to experience Neuralink. By now he can by using the Neuralink, he can communicate through mails and play games by thinking since the chips has been implanted into the brain. Thank you for listening.